Hi everybody. <laughs> Hi. It's us again. Yeah, on a, on a Monday. Yes. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Yeah, so we thought we're doing our next um, fireside chat with you. This one. And with the topic, because I had a talk this afternoon uh, in town about why meditate. And there were really some interesting myths that came up. And I know we know that they are around. And it's just like, it's just interesting how a lot of people still yes. think it's like that. So that's why we thought, huh, let's do. Yeah, let's demystify meditation. Myths. Exactly. Myths meditation. So number five. Um, that we've chosen is I'm supposed to have transcendent or any other experiences in meditation. Well, actually, you can have them, but you don't have to have them. And it's kind of a, a funny thing, like that you would go into a meditation and have the expectation of having um, a transcendent experience, or it can come, but the more you expect it, the less likely it will come. This is the thing. So you're not supposed to have, um, you're not expecting to have. If it's meant to be, they will come, um, but more later than sooner for most. But for some, it's spontaneous, so it's really fine. But for beginners, for instance, the most um, important experience is the one of the silence and is the one of, uh, of calming down and um, de-stressing. <laughs> Doing nothing. Doing absolutely nothing. Just having your eyes closed, just enjoying the silence, just eyes enjoying that you have nothing to look at, um, ears enjoying you have nothing to listen to, and, and your mouth, your whole mouth and jaw enjoying not having to say anything. So, and um, the transcendent experience, <laughs> yes. So it's easier for men. <laughs> you say that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe, maybe, yes, okay, maybe. And that's fine. So it's to stop, let's stop this supposed to have or expecting anything. You should go into a meditation with or into the silence with no expectation at all. And if anything is supposed to come up, it will. Uh, but don't really, don't, don't give it too much thought and don't, especially don't pressure yourself into it. That's totally the wrong expectation anyway. Yes, so number four. Uh, number four, um, I have to still cross legs, uh, cross legs all the time. Nah. Uh, yeah, nah. Um, you can. You, you can if you like. If you, for five minutes, it's okay. Um, but if, if you are in, in a longer meditation, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 minutes, um, cross legged is, eh, let, let's say, for. For a beginner, uh, not 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 for beginners, um, or with or for for people with I don't know, ten years of yoga experience or things like that. So um, if you 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 need your your mind should should be free of everything, and if you have problems with your legs, um, for example, after ten or fifteen minutes sitting cross-legged, your mind won't be free. Because you're thinking about oh, my legs and uh, I, I won't get up and, and, and these sort of things. It's uh, not good. So sit as comfortable as you like. Take a chair, go on your couch, lie down. Um, everything is it's, it's allowed. So it's, it's your it, meditation. Do, it doesn't matter. It's your meditation. Especially in the beginning. And if you need something to lean on, that's what it is. And what I came across is really that our beginners really like the half cross-legged posture. So one leg is with the foot on the ground and the other one is crossed in a way. So that, that is quite a comfortable position to start with if you yeah. want to go semi there or anything. So yeah, but you don't have to. No, definitely yeah. not. Another big myth Number is three. definitely it takes years to learn it and to learn it right. Let's start from the end of the sentence, right. There is no right or wrong. <laughs> definitely not. So there is your meditation and who's judging what's right and what's wrong. If it calms you down, if you come out refreshed and really nice and, and just rejuvenated, then it's definitely right. 
Um, so you shouldn't judge yourself. Oh, yes, such and such has said we're supposed to feel like that or hear, or listen to that or, or have a transcendent experience. There is no right or wrong. There is just your meditation experience. And if your meditation experience is 5, 10 or 15 minutes of beautiful silence, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. And you're relaxed afterwards. Everything is fine. And now to the point it takes years. Um, if you believe it, it will be. So if you go into it, oh, I have to, I have to practice for years and years. Generally, with the meditation practice, I mean, for, from ourselves and also what I see in my students, mm. is it comes in waves. So you have weeks and maybe months where you're doing it um, um, continually. And that's beautiful. But there's also phases where you kind of forget, don't want to have something else. There's so many beautiful tools and methods out there. So if you, if you choose one day to say, oh, I'm trying Qigong or oh, I'm trying Tai Chi, beautiful, beautiful. Perfect. So it takes years to learn is definitely not right. And especially to learn what? Um, to calm down, to relax, to give your mind more pause. Doesn't take years. Mm -hmm. Doesn't take years. And when, when you go into research, um, guys who meditate, let's say 10 minutes a day, yeah. after a few days, you can see... Uh, a difference in in brain scans for yeah. example so you you won't need days uh, you won't need years you just need days, days. to get better to to get the uh, uh, start start of an impact benefits yes it's definitely not years it's if you yeah. like stefan said if you do just 10 minutes a day you will you will realize after a few days already the difference and so don't talk yourself into that. That's not right. No, nonsense. Number two. Um, I have no time. <laughs> that, that's, that's one of my favorites. Um, <laughs> everybody has five to ten minutes a day. Yeah. Everybody. And even when you're busy, let's say you have time. When you get up every morning at, I don't know, six o'clock. So get up at 5.50. Um, or yeah i have <laughs> you can even go on the toilet for five minutes when yeah. you are when you're in a busy surrounding or whatever and you you need uh clear your something for clearing your mind um everybody has five to ten minutes a day done so it's it's not it's it's not busyness and, and things like that and even in in the meditation you you can reorganize yourself uh you can replan things and whatever and my, my best ideas came with uh, meditation and i planned well i'm still planning my my day in the morning so i get up a bit earlier 10 15 minutes and everything is fine because you save a lot of time during the day with um, a proper mindset when you go into it easy as yeah beautiful number one number one my favorite <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah, a good one yeah i have to have no thoughts in meditation well if you should get get there <laughs> let me know good luck the thing is <laughs> uh, no it's possible it, of course it is possible and of course it is possible but it's not about i have to have no thoughts i think it's the biggest misconception about meditation in in the non-clerical world yeah. so we're talking about outside monasteries yeah because we have a life we are human beings with a life before meditation and after the meditation so what will happen in your meditation is there will be thoughts the idea is though to not hang on to your thoughts, to not attach to your thoughts, to not follow your thoughts and, down the rabbit yeah, hole. And don't jump on the mind train. Exactly. So you will have thoughts in the meditation. You're human, I, I suppose. So you will get at one side, at one st stage to the stage where the thoughts are coming slower and slower. But what you do is once you're in the meditation and you realize a thought is coming in, it's like, Sometimes saying to your mind, 
Hey, mind, nice. Yes, I know we have to do the grocery shopping afterwards, but you know what? Right now, I don't need the grocery list. Right now, I'm meditating. Can you please remind me afterwards, later on maybe? That would be really nice, dear mind. And then let the thought go. So my visualization is always a cloud. So a thought comes in like a cloud and you realize there is a cloud. Oh, yes, nice cloud. Yeah, but not now. And just let it go. So it's about letting that thought go like a cloud in the sky. You know, this is one of the reasons why we're focusing on the breath. The breath is coming and the breath is going. You're not holding on to the breath. I mean, you could, but not for that much longer. So it's like the breath and like the waves in the sea. You have a thought coming in and you just let it go. And then the next thought maybe comes in. Oh, yes, I know I have to pick up the children. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But do you mind, seriously? Can you please remind me afterwards? That would be really nice. Because you have to educate the, the monkey mind. You have to. It's, this is what really helps you. And what you will find if you're not suppressing the thoughts, but accepting them and then letting them go again, the mind will slow down. The mind will slow down. It will go to like, oh, okay, yeah, she's listening to me, but, but oh, not now. Okay, yeah, we can do that later. That's fine. That's fine. That's totally okay. Yeah. So you have to set boundaries, yeah. like um, teaching a dog. Yeah, know, puppy. Puppy. Uh, Children. Kids. Yeah, it's about <laughs> attention. Your mind wants attention. Your mind is important. I mean, it's helping you plan your day and your life. I mean, let's be honest. We, that's what it's for. But as I always say, it shouldn't run the show. So you are still saying, oh, you know what, mind, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. But now we're now meditating. And the mind will give in in the end. So you will have thoughts and that's fine. And eventually the thoughts will become slower and slower. And then at one stage you will realize, oh, I have no thoughts. Damn it, that was a thought. <laughs> that is the first time that it occurs. And I think that happens to all of us. They were saying, yeah, you know, thought, damn it, that's one. <laughs> but that's, that's totally okay. That's totally okay. That's the process of letting those thoughts just go. So don't beat yourself up if you have a thought in meditation. That is, that is okay. Nobody knows. Yeah, it's just you know. Mm -hmm. So don't buy into it and don't engage into it and go like, oh my God, I've got a thought. And then I just say, oh yes, yes thought. That's okay, but not now. Can you remind me later? And it's all good. Good? Yes. So I hope that was helpful for you. If there are any other beliefs that you have about meditation, you would like us to demystify them. We're yeah. happy to do that. Or if you have topics that we yes. could discuss. Totally. And if you like that video, maybe subscribe to the channel and like the video because it helps other people to find our video and our channel. Yeah. That would be awesome. Facebook algorithm. Yes. YouTube algorithm. YouTube as well. Yes. yes. Wonderful. That's us? That's us. Great. Have a lovely evening. <laughs> yes. Have fun. And see you soon again. Bye. Bye.